Hi, Glenn here. Today I'm in my living room, which I've completely torn apart to recreate the 144 light matrix from two years ago. The difference this year is that instead of using my MacBook Pro and an Altera FPGA to control the lights, I'm using a BeagleBone Black and the new Logibone FPGA board to control them. Let's take a closer look at the hardware and then run some patterns on the lights. Here's the hardware. The two board stack on the right is the brains of the operation. The bottom board is a BeagleBone Black CPU board. The top board is a Logibone FPGA board with a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA on it. The software on the bottom board generates the patterns of the lights and sends them over the GPMC bus to the FPGA. The FPGA stores these patterns in a memory and then converts the patterns in memory to the color effects protocol and sends them out some output pins. Those output pins are connected to the board on the left, which has a bunch of RS-422 drivers on it. The RS-422 drivers convert the single ended signals from the FPGA into differential signals and send them to the lights. At the start of each string of lights, there is an RS-422 receiver board that takes a differential signal and converts it back to single-ended. The single-ended signal is fed into the light string, and then the light string produces the program patterns. Now let's look at some of those patterns. The first pattern is a simple swipe from left to right of some solid colors. The second pattern is a pseudo-random pattern based on Perlin noise. For more information on Perlin noise, check out the Python noise library. The third pattern is diagonal color wash pattern from the upper right hand corner moving down to the lower left hand corner. And the final pattern is a circle radiating from the center of the matrix out to the edges. That's all I have for today. Until next time, thank you for watching.